why that is so exciting to see. There's nobody in those. They're just driving themselves. That's pretty cool. That's actually really, really awesome to see. They were out there driving around, having a little fun. I get used to that. Found the giant. This is Ron. If you guys maybe have seen Ron, it's Ron. Pretty hard to miss when I'm just an old red. He is all red. He's so tall, but he does have a little bit of green right there. He does. I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, six, everybody's taller than me. Six inches. Everybody. Helps, it's the reality. So Ron's actually been out to the farm. He flew my drone when we were fighting that fire with Big Root. That was so, a crazy. Those drone skills. That guy. That guy. I think we learned we learned a little bit there. Your yeah. first grain cut on the farm was that video. Yeah, that, that was quite a year. That was our that was our last good year. But after that, it was downhill. You left and everything just fell apart. So what I'm hearing is, do I need to book my ticket for like yes. next August? You need to come back and run grain cart and drone. I, I think we can do that. We can have to make that happen. <laughs> so Ron's got a nice farming channel called the uh, uh, Hartson Family Farms, and uh, yeah, this guy's awesome. He's a combine expert, so Not combine guru. I mean, I, so, I I tend to know more. I mean, know a lot about green, but also run red. So he so may have designed a combine or two. I mean, the time. The, the, the the X uh, this combine called the X9. If you ever heard of it, I'm, I may or may know a thing or two yeah. about it. But yeah, it's kind of a beast, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, but it's cool to be here at the show. We've been able to run a lot of guys, and Ron's definitely one of those guys I wanted to. That, that is a slick looking tractor on your shirt. The Dark Knight. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Black, Black Knight. Knight. Black. I'm going to call it the Dark Knight Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. So, um, I'm sure many of you know this guy. The squad and Grant Hilbert on YouTube. So, so these guys run a awesome and massive YouTube channel, multiple channels actually. Yes, yes. And 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 you went from farming simulator to actually farming your own ground now. Correct? Yes, yeah, yeah. So straight out of college, I bought a couple farms and uh, started farming on there. What'd yeah, you, so what did you go to college for? Ag biz, ag biz and economics. Oh, yeah. Economics. It was like two more credits to economics. I went yeah. aviation technology. Aviation. Yeah, yeah. I'm flying combines. Close, yeah. Close to what you're doing now? Yeah. I should have did that. <laughs> See, this is smart guy. This guy's smart and yeah. being smart too. Check this out. This is uh, American farming. They've got their own game in the works. Yeah. So this is uh, so this booth is a squad built booth. Okay. So we're running demos right now where people can come in and try out the game American farming which is going to be probably November, December when it releases. We were hoping to get it released before this show, but yeah. it took forever. No, I, it, it's, if you guys know anything about programming, it is a very complex yeah. process. Yeah. So it looks exactly. like you guys got a good team, though. Yeah, exactly. Well, I got to play with it a little bit. It looks pretty promising. Yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty excited. Look how you guys got the right color in the game, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so 
That's awesome, man. Well, it's a pleasure meeting yeah, you, Grant. I've always wanted to meet you in by. person. Yep, we'll stop by your booth over there and stuff. Maybe I can join a live stream again sometime. Oh, yeah. 2018, I remember I first talked to you on live stream. <laughs> I was so pumped. We had like 5,000 people watching the first day of Farm Sim, and you hopped on. I, I know, and I was like, it's funny because I didn't expect you to like get me. Like, oh, get him, get him on, get him on. Like, okay, where's my headset at? I don't even know. All the kids were going crazy. They're like, Nick Wilkerson. Nick Wilkerson. It's, it's, it's good stuff. It's so fun how different channels that are so different but yet everybody's connected because a lot exactly. of our audience is the same exactly so yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. neat yeah cool Thanks well stuff by. yeah man yeah yeah we'll catch you again yeah when i'll be logging on my american farmer on my phone oh yeah now i'm walking over to the titan tire booth because i was just at the case IH booth i'm gonna go see a friend of mine he weighs about fifty thousand pounds he likes to break arms and um yeah i'm gonna see how he's doing hey would you look at that it's that marshmallow man from Ghostbusters. That guy actually looks friendly, the other one didn't. But I'm not gonna take my chances. That's terrifying. Ugh. And just like that, we're at the Titan booth. And if you can tell, there's my buddy. We're at our big bud and I found somebody that is actually pretty cool. And um, what's your name? Tempe. <gasps> That's my name too, right? What's my real name? Do you know what my real name is? Scott. Oh, she does know it. Oh my goodness, this is a true fan here. So what's your name? Jared. Say it again. Jared. Okay, you guys heard that, right? <laughs> All right, good, good. And how old are you? You're 40 years old? That's almost as old as this tractor. You're getting up there, buddy. But although he doesn't have white hair. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll get that right. Anyways, we got some fans here that um, kind of crushed my heart a little bit because they're, you guys are kind of cute, right? Yeah. Okay, here's a smile. Yeah, kind of cute. Anyways, come in here, bud. We gotta wave to the camera. Okay, say bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys. All right, snuck over to this side of the town. A little scruffier. <laughs> A little, a little meaner. A little smarter. <laughs> Quite a bit smarter. <laughs> so we got Larson, Brian, the Swede. Ron's still here. And somewhere over here is Duggo, but oh, he's on the phone. Yeah. What about Amy? That's, that's a trend. There's Amy. We were going to get to her. I was saving her for last, guys. Thanks for spoiling it. <laughs> Amy's awesome. So anyways, just wanted to stop by and say hi, guys. Yeah. This is our only time we ever see each other. Yeah, it is. It's fun to meet other YouTubers and talk about you know, the geek stuff. You guys do YouTube, you guys do YouTube, I stay apart, right? Well, <laughs> I leave comments, but you guys never reply to me. <laughs> I haven't even liked one of them yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, I know what you guys feel. Yeah, I, I leave it's comments hard. too. It's hard, it's hard. To yeah, talk. sure it is. You can answer all 6,000 of those comments per video. It's hard, it's, I try. <laughs> try. He does try. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to day number two at the Farm Progress Show. I seem excited. Is it the heat? Is it the sweat? Is it the, the very moist feeling of the pants soaking into your legs? Wait a minute, did you just say moist? Yeah. So I like to kind of get an idea of what we have here. Uh, how many here are corn and bean farmers? Raise your hand. All right, I got quite a few. How about dairy? All right, hog farmers? Okay, hay farmers? How many don't farm? Oh, we got a few. Steve, you don't count. <laughs> Thanks for being Hi. here. Awesome! Hi guys. Oh, no. I get to meet the real oh, boss. Oh, yeah, right? Anybody awesome. Cool. Hello. Let's say hi. This is ready. Yes. They came and did our drills and uh, did a great job. They're outstanding in the field, but we'll have them get, come back. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Hi, Jesse. All right, Jesse. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> Good to meet you. Hi, I'm Matt. Madeline. Awesome. Yes, Madeline. Yes, Madeline. Oh, Madeline. Yep. I brought my better half. You? The true better half, not Jesse. My... Holy smokes, did he upgrade. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, yeah. <laughs> cool. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we're, we're, we're looking, yeah. we're looking oh, for these guys oh, called right. Volker Farms. Ever, do you know where they're at? I wouldn't, sit, I wouldn't get next. You know though. the porta potties? Just keep going past. Hey, that. Uh, okay. actually, the real ones are right next to this white tractor they, down there. They're okay. really short. 
Okay. They're about only so high. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go check them out. <laughs> okay, right. these, boys, these boys have been fun to see you guys on the big buds. So, awesome. All right, man. We gotta go, man. Love your shirt. Hey. Love your shirt. We'll see you Love your shirt. Yes. Love Absolutely. your shirt. I found somebody that's very, very shy. Doesn't Extremely. like to speak much. Um, a little bit of insecure. And I don't know why. I he's mean, he's trying I've, to bring me out of my shell. It's not happening. It, it, it's not going to happen. I mean, she's very, very difficult. Anyways, we have somebody here that's very special, and I'm not entirely sure who. Grant. 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 Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That guy back there. But we're not going to talk one. about him. We're going to talk about her. <laughs> this is Laura Farms. If you don't know who she is, good luck. Mm, right? Then you probably should. You're yeah, you should out. probably. Yeah, you probably should. Yeah. You're missing out on uh, irrigation. You're missing out on corn and soybean farming, cattle, hogs. Seed corn, all sorts of good stuff. Free dinner, you know? Simple Every things once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, for the first time, we finally got to connect with Laura Farms, and it was a fun, awesome time. It's been a long time coming. Yes, a long time coming, and we've been meaning to get this on camera. It just, things happen. You don't get to it. So anyways. And here we are. Laura Farm here. If you haven't checked her out, please go check her out. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and if you don't like what you see, please don't complain back to me. So That's you complain to fault. Nick. There you go. That's Nick's problem. <laughs> and we are back from Iowa. What a great week. My voice is very harsh, very harsh. I, I guess I talked a lot to a lot of you people, you people. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Got to meet so many of you guys. It was a wonderful time, but now we're back in the dry old Montana. And there's not corn to be seen for 100 miles. We still got crop to harvest. So let's get these combines going. And let's get this wheat done. And put this year in the books. And move on to some pretty cool stuff. So, Beast Pine, it's time again. He's been sitting for a week. I've been checking the cameras. And he hasn't moved since we left. So, I mean, it's my job. <laughs> Roll. Ready to go. Well, we're back. Just got back from the Farm Progress Show. Uh, I just want to thank you, all those that were able to make it to the show, stop by the booth, and during the meet and greet, or when we were walking around uh, at the Progress Show, um, and just really uh, thanked us for what we're doing, gave us a lot of encouragement. Uh, we appreciate that all the prayers and uh, and uh, then also the gratitudes that you gave us. Uh, always enjoy meeting the people, meeting you guys, uh, and we all most of the time ask where you're from because we want to know if you happen to be in agriculture. You know what what kind of agriculture are you, are you in? And uh, then some are able to share their stories. Um, and some of them are awesome, awesome, blessed as far as crop yields. Others are suffering like we did this year, dry and uh, kind of low yields. So all together, everybody's in the same boat. Uh, just uh, we'll, we'll make it spread around it next year. Um, anyway, we're uh, harvesting spring wheat. Uh, this is uh, re uh, replant or continuous cropping. Um, this is uh, spring wheat on canola. And last year, as you saw, uh, our canola did not do well. Part of it was hailed, it was dropped. Um, and so there wasn't a lot left in the ground this spring. But uh, to keep the rotation, we needed to, to plant it back to uh, cereals. And so I'm just gonna let you look at it. Uh, it's making anywhere from three to uh, ten, sometimes seven, but I think the average, let's take a look at it. There you go. Uh, average is seven. So uh, there's some that's going to be a little bit more on what's left, but pretty much what we're going to be harvesting now is going to really get into all of the hail uh, wheat. So it, we'll, we'll see how it does. Some of it regrew and uh, we're thinking maybe it's possible to go back up to 10 bushels on the regrowth of the reseeded uh, 
or not reseeded, but to continue to crop. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's good to be back in the saddle again. Uh, good to be with Kobe. Uh, some, I'll, I'll try it tomorrow morning. This morning when I, we got in real late last night. And so I got up this morning and uh, my wife Karen uh, let Kobe in and he ran over and he put his uh, front legs on my lap and he laid his head on my chest and he just sat there and he looked up with his eyes like, don't do that again. You stay here. <laughs> but no, he was real happy to, to, for me to be back. And for me to be back means he's back in the combine. Is that right, Kobe? Oh, yeah, we went for a walk this morning and did you chase a coyote? Did you? A coyote? Yeah, I don't think he's re remembering this morning. I think he's looking for one now. So anyway, again, thanks for uh, uh, coming out to the shows. And uh, we'll most likely be at some more shows. And if you can make it, uh, we're really grateful for those who can, can make it. For those who can't, uh, thank you for commenting. Uh, you guys really uh, make this worthwhile.